Welcome, this is a Delta Math tutorial. This is on negative and zero exponent level one. Here it asks us which expression is equivalent. Here we have six to the negative second power divided by six to the negative one power. A couple of things that we need to understand is our properties of our exponent list. We see that this our exponent negative exponent so we're going to turn it into positive first so we're going to flip it so this go this starts from the top and it goes to the bottom right so let me show you how that would look like so six goes to the bottom now as it comes to the bottom this becomes a positive value so it c to the 6. Then this was 6 to the negative 1. And now it's going to be brought to the top. Because that's what we do. We flip the term. It's going to go to the top. And as it goes to the top, the exponent gets removed. So it should look something like this now. 6 to the 1 divide by 6 to the second. This now becomes a quotient of an exponent. You're going to subtract the exponent. So we have 6 as the exponent, as the base, and the exponents are 1 and 2, and it says to subtract. So this is going to be equal to 6, 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. Let's see if that was a possible answer. No, it's not. So they want the positive answer. So again, this is on top. And we want it to be a positive exponent. So we bring it down. As we flip it and bring it down to the bottom of the fraction, fraction it becomes 6 to the 1. So it becomes this answer. Good. And here are all the steps in detail. The next problem, you have 5 third to the negative fifth power. Here, you should see that you have a power of a product, exponent of an exponent. You multiply the exponent. So 3 is going to be multiplied by negative 5. 5 is the base. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. We do not like the negative exponent. Please understand this is over 1. So what we are going to do is now bring it to the bottom. It becomes 5 to the 15 on bottom. As it comes to the bottom of the fraction, it becomes now positive. So that's what it says. You flip the term. Once you flip the term, the negative becomes a positive exponent. So we should have 5 to the 15. 1 divided by 1 divided by 5 to the 15 we don't have that one. Oh, so we have this one we have 5 to the negative 15 here this question accept the negative exponent so we're gonna hit submit there and we got it correct here are all the steps in detail okay this one should be very straightforward they're exactly the same so that is just one Let's do something like this one. This is uh, 6 times 6 to the negative 2 power. Please notice that there's a really an exponent of 1 here. This is a product of power. They have the same base. You're going to you're going to add the exponent. So the same base of 6, you have the exponent of 1 and you have negative 2. And it says here you're going to add the exponent. So it becomes 6 to the negative 1 power. Let's see if they like that one. Nope, they don't. So they want the positive value. So we have to bring it to the bottom of the fraction. So it becomes 6 to the first power on the bottom. There you go. Here are all the steps for it. We have this problem now. 
4 to the negative 1 power to the negative third power. Here, this is a product of a power. You're going to have exponents of an exponent. You multiply the exp exponent. So 4, negative 1, and negative 3. It says to multiply the exponent. So what's negative 1 times negative 3? That becomes positive 3. So we should have 4 to the third power here. So we don't have, we should plug that into the calculator. 4 to the third power is just 64. Okay, so the answer is right here. Here are all the steps. This is going to be the last one. We have 2 to the negative 8 power on top, and we have 2 to the 4th power. Okay. What we are going to do first is I see that this is a quotient. So division of the same base, I subtract the exponent. So this is 2. We have negative 8 as the one of the exponents, and we have 4 as the other exponent. And here it says to subtract them. So what's negative 8 subtract negative 4? That becomes negative 12. Let's see if they like that answer. Uh, 2 to the negative 12. Yes, they do. Okay. And there you go. Those are all the steps for it. All right? Good. That is your negative and zero exponent level 1.